Many a man who pays rent all his life owns his own home, and many a family has successfully saved for a home only to find itself at last with nothing but a house. Renting in Australia has been all over the news of late. It turns out more and more Australians are renting, either by choice or otherwise. 32% of us are now renters. That's an increase of 5 percentage points since a couple of decades ago. Home ownership rates have obviously been falling over that period, slowly but surely. As with anything, as the prices of houses increase, the number of people who can buy them go down. Some news articles look at this in a negative light. Flat wages and soaring house prices are condemning Australians to a lifetime of renting. This assumes that in general, people prefer to own their own home rather than pay somebody rent. Renting is often seen as some sort of failure or unwanted affliction that people just have to put up with until they can afford to buy. Older Australians who own their home more than 20 times better off than those who rent, data shows. The most recent data from the ABS shows that in 2018, property-owning households with at least one occupant aged 65 years or older had a median net worth of about $960,000. For similar households that rent, the median net worth was only $40,000. Of course, correlation does not imply causation. Just because somebody rents does not mean that they are destined to a life of destitution. It just means that most people who rent are not very wealthy. Or to put it another way, those who have money tend to buy houses. It makes sense. Nikki Hutley, partner at Deloitte Access Economics, commented on these recent trends. Are we allowing one class of Australians to build for their retirement more easily than another class of Australians? The answer to that is unequivocally yes. What's happening now is real, but it's not sustainable. We can't keep having our house prices rise to these sorts of levels. We certainly have a housing affordability crisis in Australia. So how can we fix this crisis? Ms Hutley says the solution is fairly simple. What I'd see as the underlying solution for housing affordability is to build more houses in the places where people want to live. Not rocket science. But just because more and more Australians are renting does not necessarily mean that those people are being forced to. Welcome to the world of renters by choice, the tenants turning their back on home ownership. Yes, many Australians are choosing not to buy. I somewhat fit into that category. As a renter, I have a diversified portfolio of investments. If I choose to buy a house, I would have to sell all of those investments and dump it all into a single house. That's pretty much the definition of putting all of your eggs in one basket. From an investment point of view, that's not smart. The main reasons for people choosing to rent were renting is more affordable than owning, there are fewer worries and liabilities, and renting is more flexible. There has even been research on people's attitudes towards renting in Australia. Traditionally, Australia is seen as a home-owning society, where renting is often seen as a disaster, with renters experiencing disadvantage or insecurity. But a growing number of Aussies are openly defiant of this norm. A sizeable cohort of private renters explicitly prioritises living in a desired inner middle city location over owning. One, albeit relatively small group, appears deviant from the home ownership norm in associating private renting with greater lifestyle freedom. Anyway, that's renting in Australia. More and more of us are doing it, so I wouldn't feel too bad about it. As more of us become renters, society will certainly change to suit the renting class. Mm -hmm.